Hi everybody. Welcome to Cold Christmas Church. Yeah, you heard right. Cold Christmas Church. What's left of it anyway? Towers, 15th century, what remains. It's situated in the, or near Fundridge in Hertfordshire, England. It's a long cold Christmas lane. The church is actually called Little St Mary's Church. But due to its inactivity and being situated near Cold Christmas Lane, it got nicknamed Cold Christmas Lane Church. Sorry, Cold Christmas Church. The church was actually demolished in 1853 when a new parish church was built nearby. The church's stone tower still remains. The church dates back to 1086 and was part of Hugh de Maisnil's estate. It was intended for private family use only. There are many rumours of the church being built on a north-south alignment instead of east-west. Many med medieval churches were built this way and it is said to be the sign of the devil, which is why it was said it was later demolished. It's a bit of a breezy day today, so I don't know how this is coming out on the microphone. And, uh, walks it way into some woods to try and get out of the wind. Well, anyway, we'll persevere with this. Even though the church was demolished, the graveyard still remains along with the church tower. The gravestones have fallen into disrepair, headstones fallen down and some are even broken. There are reports of a, there are, are reports of a mausoleum in the graveyard and that mass burial graves lie under where the old church once stood. Many graves belong to young children and is said to have been due to extreme cold weather during a particularly cold Christmas that led to their deaths. Reports of ghostly hauntings. Most paranormal activity reports come from in or around the church tower. Sounds of growling and of an evil presence are just a few. A figure in black, which is me today, has also been seen on several occasions around the graveyard. In, uh, in 1978, a woman walked up to the church's tower, found herself walking towards a marching army, ancient army coming from the church doorway and right through her. Locals have reported witchcraft, vandalism and desecration at the church. And keep that 12 bore away from me, pal. Sorry about that. Desecration at the church. At Halloween, the police are reported to close the lane. There is also stories of something, someone falling to their death from the old staircase that now leads directly out onto a floorless room. Which I was looking forward to climbing up and having a look and taking some photographs inside. But I'm gutted to find out that it's been filled with rubble inside at the bottom and it's been sealed. So I've come all this way to slightly get disappointed at not being able to get inside and photograph the insides and show you the insides but I didn't expect that. It's still worth coming in though just for the beautiful countryside and the nice walk I've had. The tower had three floors and some of the original features from the chapel are incorporated into, the, uh, into it as the 14th century window above the door and the 12th century doorway still survive. Thanks for looking everybody. Merry Christmas. See you next time.